Welcome to London Players Guild. And Hello. silence. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do. You usually do the intro, Guildmaster. That's true, that is very true. Welcome to Graded, our series where we look at all of the new cards from a set and colour from the new set. Talk about how we like them on theme, how we like them competitively, how we like them in general. And we, we give them a grade. An arbitrary grade, that's very subjective, but our opinion is correct. And if you disagree, that's, that's you know, let us know in the comments below. Uh, Peter, we have Evolu Battle Evolution Booster. And it is the red cards today. Yeah, it is the red cards. The last time we looked at green cards, which had some mm. ups and downs. Mainly ups, right? I think we were Mainly both very ups, happy. there was a downs with some of the heroin, yeah, the heroin support and things like that. It, it just was weird. Yeah. I know some people Otherwise. are trying to make that Ribrian work with Gmezi, but no. 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 So let's get into it today. I'm very excited. I like yeah, I, so I, I. I, I like this color a lot. Whoa! And there's Napa. a Nappa! With a away. jar with Cybermen. Because we keep on saying Cybermen, and there's I in there. It's Cybermen. I don't think it matters. We all know the green little aliens that you used to play on the loading screen. They're over red now. Morgan. They're red now. Um, Red colored green, Pete, and not the actual <laughs> card color. I know Act that's very confusing for people. Activate main. Once per turn, you can uh, add card from your life to your hand and then play up to one side by man from your deck, then shuffle your deck. So essentially, by taking a life everything, every single turn, so self awakening, you get to play a free card from your deck, which has a blocker. Bad. Yeah, it's, 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 I, I think it's a good effect. Like, it's, it's that turn one consistency that we like to see in leaders yeah. without it being... You can have two Cybermen on turn one on board. Yeah! Uh, and the weekend, when you have four or less life, which is fairly easy with this leader, right? You may yeah. switch up to one of your energy to active mode and play up to two Cybermen uh, from your deck, shuffle your deck. I, I love that. I love yeah. that so much. We have more leaders that play stuff when they awaken. It's really cool. It's really cool yeah. to see them playing with Awaken like this. Um, obviously, you lose the draw, but you know, you're getting two cards and you're untapping. I think it's a fair trade. Yeah, I mean, you're getting the cards that are also working with your flip side. So that is true. let's go to the flip uh, side. When this card attacks, play up to one Cyberman from your deck, then shuffle your deck. And once per turn, when one of your Cyberman card cards is KO'd. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 10,000 power for the turn. When we have seen this first time, I called in that there's going to be a Cyberman that uh, either next power or kills something that's low on power. Unlike the mm -hmm. green one, which was killing low on cost. Yeah. And activate main. Once per turn, you look at the top seven cards of your deck. Add up to one red Vegeta or Nappa. So no Raditz this time around. They just ditched Raditz again. Uh, with energy cost of 4 or less among them to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Uh, if you added the card to your hand, you need to discard... No, sorry, not discard, put it at the bottom of your deck. So, let's go step by step. Uh, the first mm -hmm. effect, you're going to run out of Cybermen at some point from your deck, and I think that's the biggest issue here. Yeah, it's how quickly you can turbo through them. Uh, yeah, I, I yeah, can see it's how many you play. Finding the sweet spot, how many you need to play, is the essential thing for building the deck. That's true. Uh, the auto that triggers once per turn when you KO a uh, Cyberman is simple. If you can KO it during your turn, you can trigger it also during your turn, which is nice. You drink your yeah. opponent's turn, it's just going to be block, and then it's KO'd by battle. Mm -hmm. I don't understand the last one. They made a huge thing by putting Raditz in set 7, and they didn't put it in the game since. They gave it one card. Let Raditz go, Peter. I, I, I don't like Raditz as a character, but the concept of the deck was so fun, and they just screwed it up. But yeah, uh, this is leader that is mostly supposed to work with the new Vegeta lineage, I think. Because it, it can search for any red Vegeta with cost 4 or less. Sadly, yeah. it can't uh, get the exploiting we uh, weakness. Sadly. Yeah. I don't understand this. Because even though you add the card to your hand, you still need to put something to your, back to your yeah, deck. Yeah, it's such a weird trade-off, and I wish they didn't have that little bit of it. But the, I think the other two are The reason really good. why it's there is very simple. If you draw Cyberman, you just put it back into your deck. 
Yeah. But it's the same reasoning that they did in Raditz. You discard to go into that weird uh, chain, uh, monkey chain uh, that yeah. played the multicolor Vegeta from your deck. I that's just true. don't see this. Yeah, that's fair. Let's let's move on to our Unison, I think, is next, right? Yes, Unison yeah. is absolutely <laughs> amazing. So good, like instant form of foil. Like, I mean, it's so good. Your wish has been granted. It is a and baseball theme. Baseball card. Uh, so, I, I, Yamshao, Wolf Funk Pitching f uh, Fistball. So, it's a red unison with specified cost of 1 red with 9000 power. I like the fact it's a 1 drop. Yeah. For what it does, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Once per turn, when one of your red Cyberman cards is KO'd, you may play that Cyberman from your drop area with its skills negated for the turn. This is amazing. Yeah, turn 1, so play Cyberman from the deck. Play this. The mm -hmm. moment they attack you, you just block and it comes back. It doesn't yeah, have it... blocker or any skills, but it comes back. And the skills are only negated for the turn. Yeah, it's it's a really cool effect. And it's an auto. And it's just good. Yeah. It, like, it, it means you have to like deal with a 9k uh, unison, which is... Yeah. It's easy to do, but it's only a but one But then there's block. an army of blockers. Yeah. It, it's, it, it's interesting. It's a really interesting Yeah, unison. he makes it so that the blockers stay, right? Uh, mm. Activate main, plus one. You may choose one of your red or green side by main cards and KO it. So that triggers the leader we are talking about. That's true. And as well the uh, side by main skills. If yeah. you do, you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 10,000 power for the turn. So already adding up those minuses. Yes. Uh, so in this case, it is actually well written. We have an extra card that's poorly written for side by main. I'm going to go over that uh, when we get to that extra card. But this skill is well written. Uh, it's not a cost to KO the Cyberman. You can plus one and not choose a, a Cyberman. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's perfectly fine. And then minus five, choose up to nine of your red or green battle cards with cost of one and they get 11,000 power for the turn. Cyberman have 4,000 power. So Swap! if you keep them on board, it's just like minus five and... Swarm! Yeah, swarm! <laughs> but it doesn't need to be Cyberman that you're choosing with that. Cyan no, Kappa, uh, any of red those. Red or green battles. Yeah. yeah, any red or green battle cards with cost of one. Yeah, it's interesting. It's really nice. It's, cool. mm. it's a really interesting card. Obviously, it's for Nappa deck, but yeah. Yeah, really Nappa cool. is getting more love and better deck than Rad instead. Yeah. Uh, something for launch deck, which yeah. I did not expect to actually see in uh, Evolution Booster. I guess, I guess she's a heroine, right? So That is true. Uh, um, so she's a 2-drop, 1-specified red, 5k power blocker, which is interesting. 0-cost 5k combo, but auto you can pay 1 energy, any energy, doesn't need to be red. If your leader card is red earthling card or a heroine card, at the end of a battle where this card was used in the combo, play uh, this card from your drop area. So it's a combo card, right? Combo player. Yeah, combo player blocker. It's it's good. I, I like it. Yeah. I think it's really, really She doesn't have handy. unique, which might be important. So yeah. You can have true. multiple of those on board. Yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting card for sure. She's got the World Marshal tag as well, which is always... Uh, um, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no. She yeah. does have World Tournament tag. Yeah, yeah, she has the World Tournament tag. She has the Earthling. So she works with any Red, uh, red Earthling or uh, Bulma leader we have seen yeah. already. Yeah, interesting. We'll, we'll find out. Like, well, it's an interesting card for sure. Uh, I mean, this plays into what the Boomer wants to do, right? Just stall out for the game. And yeah. then they need to get some finisher. We haven't seen a good finisher for them yet, I think. Besides, no, there was a one card that got triple attack. I guess. Rosie, I think. Oh, from green. Yeah. 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 Because she's a heroine as well. Yes, she is. Uh, Vegeta the Executioner. I don't know. Oh, Cyberman. Look at it. It's yeah, why is, it, why is he doing Cyberman? Wasn't he execu uh, executing, what's his face, Nappa? He was, but you know, it's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> There's that Cyberman's like, I'm screwed! <laughs> so, a two drop, one specified red, 10,000 power. He doesn't have Vegeta's lineage, which is weird. No, he doesn't. Zero cost, 5k combo, barrier. So, you want to, uh, he wants to stay on board. Activate main mm -hmm. once per turn. You choose one of your Cybermen and KO it. You draw one card, then choose up to two of your red Cybermen cards, and they get plus 11,000 power for the turn. 
So this like this is your draw power for the Nappa. Yeah, I think this really is good. mostly for drawing, right? Yeah. Because um, when you have Yamcha on board, the Cyberman just draw. comes back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really good. I I really like this card. Yeah, it's really interesting. It's it's a two drop. I don't think it's fast enough to be seen in competitive play. I don't think the whole deck is fast enough to be oh, seen yeah, in competitive no, play. I, I, but it's a but fun deck. I really like this. To is see a this. super casual, super yeah. fun deck. I think. Maybe not that casual, but yeah. Nappa oh. testing the opposition. <laughs> Planting I them. I love this card so much. So two drop, two specified red, 10,000 power. Auto, if your leader card is Nappa card, when this card is played, you play up to two Cybermen from your deck or drop area. Then shuffle your deck if you look through it. That's important that you can play them from the drop area as well. Yeah. And once per turn, you can give one of your Cybermen plus 11,000 power for the turn. Yeah. That's interesting because... You use your Cybermen to attack, and then your opponent, if they want to remove them, they are going to be playing into your when your Cyberman is removed skills. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one, I think this one is worse than Vegeta. Oh yeah, it is. Because Vegeta lets you cycle some cards with Yamcha on board, the uh, Cyberman that you sacrifice, the KO for the cost will come back. So mm. yeah, I think I prefer Vegeta over Nappa. Even though Nappa is a red. Yeah. And then we have... I <laughs> did not... I did not resize this one. I don't know how. Magic! There we go. Infinite Assault Cybermen! Yeah. And so you can play as many copies of this card in your deck as you like. This is going to be actually amazing for Commander. Yeah, it is. Because yes. Nappa is actually going to be one of the most consistent leaders in Commander. And when it's KO'd, you choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards with 10k power or less and KO it. It's really good. Yeah. It is really, really good. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's a good card. It's a good replacement for the green one. Uh, you can do... Because you can't reduce the cost of the card on board. You can reduce the power of the card on board. Mm. So this is actually really, really nice. Yeah. Vegeta Royal Evolution. We have seen this card. This card so is pretty. busted. We've talked <laughs> about it on the very first uh, notes that we had for Battle Evolution mm. Booster. So if you don't remember, it's auto for one red. If your opponent has three or more energy and it's your turn, at the end of the battle in which you comboed with this card from your hand, you, and, uh, you switch one of your mono red leaders to active mode. And that mm -hmm. card gets plus 5,000 power and has its keyword skills negated for the turn. You can't activate non-keyword leader skills, leader card skills, or skills on copies of this card for the turn. So no double strike, no critical, nothing like that. You can't activate any autos, you can't awaken, <laughs> none of that. Mm -hmm. But you get additional attack with your leader. That's true. Uh, Could be huge. It could be huge. I mean, for one energy, having additional attack with your leader and your leader being uh, 20, 25k even, because there are leaders that get 5k for the turn when they attack. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good point. And then activate battle, one red. If your leader card is mono red and you discard this card from your hand, you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 10,000 power for the battle. That's so good. So, good. so it's flexible. Mm. Yes, your leader but needs to be mono red. It works brilliant in Nappa. Mm. Uh, but beside that, it's there's quite a few leaders that would be quite interested in this. Not to mention, it's got the Universe 7 tag, which is always important. Yeah, <laughs> it's another Universe 7 card. That is true. It's um, just a really good SR. Like... Yeah. Then we go into Golden Freezer the Perished. <laughs> another Universe 7 card. Yes. So, one drop, red, uh, 5,000 power. Activate main if you have red and blue cards in your energy area. And you place one card from your life in your drop area. For the turn, this card gets plus 20,000 power and can't attack your opponent's leader card. And you can't play any battle cards except Universe 7 cards. Yeah, I, 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 I kept going over this and I'm just, I don't see why it exists. Uh, start at the Goku. For universe 7 if you have a universe 7 battle card with 20,000 power or more ah. it can awaken 
Okay, so that's, that's why they call it exists. Working. It's still okay. good. It... Yeah, it's, there's so many downsides I think to it. it. Works I, like, if, I get why. I think it works if you have a multicolor energy, but that's about that. Yeah, I think. Well, I'm not convinced. It's alright. Yeah, eh. It's eh. not too good, no. It's interesting, it but it, it, it ain't great. It exists. Exactly. Watch well, just be totally wrong, and it's probably the most busted card in set, lol. <laughs> uh, Vegeta um, the Third, Lineage's Beginning. So this is uh, our starter for the Vegeta Lineage. They learned mm -hmm. their lesson. Uh, so, Vegeta's Lineage, card with energy cost of 2, that's for the swap 2, no energy. Auto, when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and gets minus 5,000 power for the turn. To be fair, this is not too bad in cooler. No, that's that's a really good point actually. It's it's really cheap and effective uh way yeah. to minus cards, yeah. So one energy, five K and because with swap oh. you don't need to play the card, you can just swap for nothing. That's true. Swap zero. And it doesn't stop itself from being played again. An activate battle once per turn, you can pay one energy, and this guy gets 11,000 power and critical for the turn. Reminds me of the Gohan from Clash of Fates. Yeah. Yeah, a bit, yeah. Uh, but definitely, this is going to be something that's going to be. Oh, this, is, this is way better, but like. It, no, I, I think Cooler would really love this card. I, I think there's a lot of utility with this leader. Yeah. Uh, leader card, sorry. Uh, and it's just amazing and it's badass and it. I love seeing King Vegeta. We need Vegeta's and... lineage secret and we need Vegeta Jr. that does the same as Goku Jr. I, yeah, that's that's a thing that I joked about <laughs> with whoever said someone um, without saying too much more. Yeah. I don't think it's going to happen. No, no, do I. I would love it if it happened. Maybe not as a secret, but I do want a Vegeta Jr. card that matches that artwork one day. <laughs> Let's like, like if enough people ask for it. Um, speaking of asking for it, unexpected <laughs> casualties. I don't know if that's the segue. I I tried. <laughs> uh, so one red. Active main. If you lead a card is red Nappa card and you choose and oh you choose one card in your hand and discard it, then send this card from your drop area to your warp. So for whatever reason, the first skill we have is the one that activates from the drop. Mm -hmm. That's counterintuitive for me, but fine. Uh, yeah, no, I totally agree. When I read this, I was like, wait, what? Yeah. So you don't pay energy for this. You just remove no. it, discard the card, and you play a Cyberman from your deck. Yes. Uh, the fact that you need to discard a card is weird. That's what uh, annoys me. It's like, why? Yeah. But On I the other hand, you can um... activate multiple of those in one turn. That is true. So you can keep a few of those in the drop, or even keep on discarding them in chain from each other and yeah, I mean, it's possible, just get right? a you... bunch of Cybermen in one turn and then you awaken and then you minus five on your uh, Yamcha. You can easily Thank build up a lot of Cybermen. Yeah. And Very activate true. battle. Choose one of your Cybermen cards and KO it. The problem I have with this skill is that it's a cost to KO. So you draw one card and then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 10,000 power for the turn. So how Cybermen work is they have an auto. After they're ko when they're KO'd, uh, they uh, KO something with power 10,000 or less. Mm -hmm. So I think the idea behind this card is you're supposed to KO, reduce the power, and then use the Cybermen. But I'm quite sure that between paying the cost and resolving the skill, there is a checkpoint. So the auto would activate that. I need to check that on the rules, but I'm quite sure that this. So this one would actually miss the timing on Cyberman. Uh, that is something I haven't thought about, so I will. We'll have to get back to you on that one. That is a yeah. Interesting I, I'm going point. to check that and put it in the pinned comment or something. Yeah, that's a um, good idea. Oh my god! Testing the opposition. Love, so we call that the that the, yeah the counter attacks uh, theme set whatever. Cycle. Uh, so a two drop to specified red. If you lead a card is mono red, negate the attack, then play Cyberman token. That token gets blocker for the turn. So very similar to the meta one. Yeah. It's exactly the same, the same stats and all that stuff. Yeah. 
it's so, just in a different color. Yeah. And it looks like we'll get one for every color, which yeah. is fine. It's good. I like it. So I guess that's how we're getting the Freezer Zombie tokens. That's more than likely right. More than likely. Yeah. Uh, if your life is at five or less, you can activate this card. Count the skill from your hand by adding one card from your life to your hand instead of paying its energy cost. So it can push you over that self awaken uh, a edge or that over that awakened edge that we were talking about, right? Yeah. Um, so what do you think? That was the last card. Oh, was it? Oh, wow. I thought there was one more, but I guess not. No, there's I 11 cards. Math. Yeah, I thought there was 12. Um, 12 yes, is going to sir. be in blue. It's very interesting. I don't know where I land on it, and it's a really difficult one for me, because thematically, I love the Cybermen stuff. The Universe 7 stuff, I get, makes sense. It's not as weird as Ribrian meets heroin. Um, but we... Got but I, I, I land on... Like, mm. my in, my gut says around a B. Yeah, and I don't I think, think it's... where I land. I think it's... Oh, it does the right job bringing back Cyberman. man mm. uh, The Universe 7... It, the SR is really good. And then you have the weird... Freezer. Freezer, yeah. Yeah. It, it doesn't strike me in the same way that we got the support for, for example, Broly. The support we got exactly. for Broly in green was... Bleh, and there was only two cards as well. It, it seems like green was more of a supporting what's come before. This red's trying to do something new, and I don't hate it. Like, the King Vegeta BR is a promise of what's to come, and I love that. We, I we, love have, that way, so we have way more cards for the Vegeta's lineage in multicolor. Yeah, and obviously from the uh, box art of UW4, we see a King Vegeta on there, which naturally leads you to assume probably that we're going probably to have be... some Vegeta's lineage there as well. Yeah. So it... there's a lot of intriguing things to it. Um, I'm just going to again... point out that heroines in green got three cards, in red they got one card. Yeah, just launch. Yeah. It's... I mean, it's a it's like a rainbow color archetype, so I can't really. Yeah, but usually they're that... trying to spread it fairly evenly. They're very limited on space with this set. Yes, they are. There's like 60 new cards or something. And they do have black and multicolor cards as well. Yeah, so it's, it. I think it's a give and take, right? Like, there's some really good reprints here in red that are kind of not needed, but are really good to have. Um, so... I don't know. Like I say, I'm on a B with this. I don't think the cards are bad. I think they've got a lot of playability as in I want to build a deck and play with them. Especially the King Vegeta. Like I said, the Vegeta's lineage is super exciting. And also, the Cyberman deck is just hilariously amazing and I love everything about it. But I in think... terms of grand scale, it's a B. Yeah, I think I agree. Cyberman looks like a fun deck to play twice. Yeah. And then you played with it. <laughs> and then you start getting annoyed that you keep on losing. I, I mean, I don't mind losing, uh, as evident by our certain history of Dragon Ball Super Card Game series. We were no spoiled spoilers. the outcomes. But uh, yeah, like, I don't mind losing as long as I have fun. And I think the Sideman deck does seem like something that, you know what, you can trash me with your top tier meta deck, but I'm just going to play with my little green men that explode and kill you guys because it's hilarious. I think uh, there is a potential in here because you have exploiting weakness and other uh, stuff that's going to reduce your opponent's power. So there is potential with Cyberman to actually take out your opponent's field. Problem is, oh, yeah. you sh I don't think you will be able to do it quickly enough. And the problem is, they also don't go around barrier. They have no way to strip barrier in any way, shape or form. That I think that's the one key yeah. downfall here, is the lack of interaction with barrier. So anything important that your opponent's sitting on, you're not going to do anything to it. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Because between leader, unison, and that extra card, you can easily strip even secrets down to nothing. Yeah, and, and that's really cool. But again, it, barrier stops. Yeah. It. So if, you, if your opponent's playing a barrier win con, you kind of... Yeah, you kind of lost on the spot, right? But that's the majority of the decks. The good decks are good because their guys either go around barrier or have barrier. Yes. And they're cheap. Like, and they're cheap. <laughs> that's cheap. 10, 2, 6, drop anyone? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's good. Dual attack, double strike. Yeah, yeah. Draw 2, KO, and then when uh, you remove it, I get two more cards to hand. Any final thoughts on the Battle Evolution red cards, Peter? 
Um, I don't think so. I am excited to play with them. In untapped potential. That we are going to be streaming live this time, by the yeah, way. It's going to be a good time. So make sure to follow us on Facebook to know when that is going to be happening. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think we're both in agreement, a B grade for red here. Yes, I, cool. I think so. It's not. It doesn't strike me as exciting. I'm still upset that there's no Raditz in this, <laughs> even though technically it should be, because Raditz was kind of Before? an envoy. Yeah he, yeah, he was an envoy for them. Well, well, you know, maybe one day Bandai will grant your wish of Raditz support. Raditz it, it, reboot it, it, leader, that's what we need. In pink, with its own very unique Raditz playstyle. I don't know. Uh, till next time, guys. We've been learning to play Guild. Go and check out our previous Battle Evolution graded or our previous graded for previous sets. It's a really fun series. We love doing it, but it needs your support. And let us know in the comments below what you would grade the red cards from Battle Evolution Booster. Also, a note on reprints, we will be judging them as part of the full set. So yeah, that's why we didn't mention them here. <laughs> So reprints and secret are going to be the final episode of the graded. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching and see you around next time. In this series, myself and Peter will be battling it out to see who can be the best warrior in all of the universes and timelines combined across Dragon Ball's history, starting from the very first set up to the most recent set. And I hope you all enjoy the history of the Dragon Ball Super Card Game.